let me show you on this video how to make your agent send emails according to a defined action. So we're going to use conditional logic to send emails to a specific person, depending on the situation. So follow me to my desktop right now. Welcome to job four. My name is George. And on this video, I'm going to show you how to send emails to a specific person, depending on the defined action. So let's get started. This is my job form dashboard, and we're going to get greeted with the my workspace. That means that we're going to be able to view all our forms, agents, apps, and so much more here. But if you just want to view the AI agents, go click on the menu here, go to my agents, and we're going to view our, our and we're going to view all our AI agents. So in this case, we're going to go with this one, sales AI agent. Let's go ahead and select this agent and we're going to go into train. Then we're going to go into action. Now actions is kind of like conditional logic. Well, it actually is, but it's defined as actions in this case. Let me go ahead and remove this one really quickly and we're going to get started. Okay. So here is the option to create our first action. And first off, you have the option to select the channels that you want this action to work on. So maybe we just want this one to work in the chat bot, we go ahead and select it and we'll be good to go. Okay. So now when something happens, we want to send an email depending on the defined act. Okay. So in this case, we want to, for example, if the user wants to, and we're going to set the state and the AI is going to going to take care of who to designate this to. Okay. So in this case, we're going to say a hypothetical question that someone might ask transport their pet immediately. So that's like a defined situation where we want to contact a certain area of the company and we want to notify them via email. Okay. So that is the when. So that's like the trigger. Then we want the action, which is the do. So in this case, what do we want to do? Well, we want to send out an email, right? And in this case, we're going to get the option to fill out the details for this email. For example, the subject. And in this case, we're going to get the agent's name and then the information that we want to use for this. And we have the option to change the whole email subject or just leave it as it is. In this case, I'll just leave it like this. And then we have the email content. So in this case, we're able to write content and then use variables, or I can go ahead and generate the content. So in this case, the prompt will be, for example, provide me a message as a support ticket. That's so that's what I want to generate. And we're going to get a preview for this. And then we are going to apply it. So let's give it a few seconds. Okay, here we go. It was just generated. So we got the subject and the description created in here. Okay, so let's go ahead and apply this one right there. Right. So now we have the variables that are going to be different every single time. And we are going to now set the recipient. So that means that we've created the email template, but we haven't designated who this is going to be sent out to. Okay. In this case, we're going to be sending out, for example, the sender name. And I'll just say uh, John Doe in this case, reply to email. And I'll just say test at test.com. And the recipient email, I'm going to say animal care at test.com. Right. So that's just a quick example. And I can add four more of these emails depending on the situation. So I can also notify like the general uh, section of the company, like um, hello at test.com. So in this case, it's going to send out emails to these two emails. All right. So now we have the email content and we have the recipient. Okay. So let's go ahead and save this right now. There we go. And we have our first action. So that is a defined action depending on the situation. Now that's one of the ones that we've just created. We can also create another action for a different situation. Maybe they want to contact the sales team that is possible too. So again, in this case, I'll keep it all channels and then I'll use the user wants to contact sales team. Here we go. And we want to again, send out an email. And again, we got our email subject. We got the email content. We can generate the content and same thing goes. We're going to go into recipients. And we're going to add the details and send it to the sales uh, team email. And that's just a quick example of how you can use this too. And yes, you can use multiple actions and as many actions as you like to define who you want the emails sent out to. So it's a super easy way to define the action for the email that's going to be sent out to, to a specific area. And once you're good to go, you can go ahead and preview this, test it out, and you can go ahead and chat with the AI agent and let it know that you want to transport an animal in this case. And it's going to send out the email. Obviously, make sure that you receive the email and the AI agent does the job correctly. If it's not set correctly, you will want to define here 
again the state maybe it's you need to be more specific or a little bit more broad depending on the situation and that's how your agent is going to be able to send out emails based on a defined action i hope you like this video please let me know here in the comments what you think about the options available to send out emails and what you would like to see in the future don't forget to like subscribe and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out and that is a wrap